Uh, Game & Watch versus Rob. I think that'll be a very intriguing match. Let's see how we're going. Okay, so, jump right in. Rob versus Game & Watch. We got Rob, one of the heavier characters in the game. Game & Watch, one of the lighter ones. Uh, Game & Watch, he's got his little back air. It's very disjointed, but uh, super easy to SDI. Depending on the situation, a lot of times you'll see Rob able to hit an up air off of those. Um, Rob, typically, his whole game plan kind of keep people out. Game & Watch kind of like looks to just like poke you here and there. He's just beat out your moves with giant priority moves. Super disjointed. A lot of KO power with his up smash and forward smash, so we might be seeing some of that. Some early stocks potentially, if he can get a good read. Um, he, you might even see Rob dying at like 100, which is really early for Rob. Uh, that character is so heavy, and with good DI, typically you don't see his stocks ending till around 130 at the earliest, and sometimes often later, like 150, even up to 200 is very possible. Um, but um, so far, pretty close game, only about 50% separating the two. A little bit of a lead for Xenon, as more or less would be expected. Kaio is a very good, solid player, plays Zero Suit, uh, one of the best players to play in the modern era for sure but he isn't exactly known for his his uh secondaries he's mostly known as kind of like a zero suit one trick and he's just really good at what he does uh, but uh, overall he is a pretty excellent fundamental player so we'll see how he can adapt uh Zenon, on the other hand has been playing rob for quite some time he's been working on it it's just character he enjoys to play his best is of course his falco but his rob's nothing to sniff uh to shake a stick at he's just excellent and right there, first stock of the game taken with an up throw from Rob at 190. Pretty high percentage, maybe even a little bit late for uh, for a Game & Watch stock. Usually, even like Sonic can up throw Game & Watch at like 150 if it's fresh. So that's surprisingly late um, stock coming in. But, you know, first stock is still a first stock lead. We'll see what Xenon can make of it. If he can rack up some percentage with some gyros, some lasers, some, uh, you know, zoning and just holding that lead down, holding his stock as long as he can. The whole thing, when, whenever you got a stock lead in this game, it's not, you don't kind of just like try to steamroll over your opponent. Usually, uh, because of the way this game's engine works, there's not such strong combos. A lot of times you'll just see people kind of just try to maintain their lead. Not necessarily camping, but they're just not looking to force plays because the onus is on the other player. You try to use your frame advantage that you have because in this game, shield is so strong that anytime you shield anything, you can almost always punish it. So the person making the first move, unless it's not predicted, is often the first person to get punished. Uh, so when you do have a stock lead like this, you'll typically see people try to just maintain stage control and just take their lead as far as they can get it. And just, just like, you know, in this moment, we're seeing a really strong lead from Xenon. Kai hasn't been able to take that stock. He's got him all the way to 130, but took so much punishment throughout this entire time trying to take stock. Downer nearly gets it. Good DI from Xenon, though, survives the downer. I think right there we did see a little slow fall downer instead of the uh, fast fall one, so it gets a uh, bit of a safe landing, I suppose. But in this game, we're still needing to see if this game's to go in Kaiwa's favor. We need to see him manage to pull something out. He's got to get like an offstage forward air, hit an up smash or forward smash read. Something's got to give because so far he's all he's done is racked up damage and get his butt kicked a little bit. Puts himself out there. He's trying to get Xenon into a precarious position, maybe catch something. Maybe he can get a gyro, anything. Any opening he can get could lead to something, but he's got to make it happen. He's got to pull it together. Ooh, Xena goes for an F smash read to try to punch the spot dodge. Doesn't get the timing and eats a chair to the face. That's going to be his first stock of the game that he has lost. So far, he does have quite a commanding lead, though, with a whole stock and 100% on his opponent. Oh my goodness, and the up smash read takes the first game going over to Xenon. Good stuff to him in his game one. Gonna update that scoreboard in just a moment. This is a best of three because it is round two. This is a round two match. Let me actually update that. <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to be going to Battlefield. 
Zeman's band Lila, and they're going to be taking it to Battlefield. We'll be in I'm interested to see if Kyle's will maybe switch characters or anything of that nature. We'll be seeing. Yeah, he does. Kyle's does indeed. He switches over to Ike, perhaps looking to abuse Ike's giant disjoints on his forward air, on his, his neutral air, back air. Uh, for sure, Ike's forward air holds a lot of a lot of distance just covers the zones really hard his jab excellent one of the best jabs in the game extremely disjointed combos into itself pretty well and it can be jab cancelled it's really excellent not certain who wins this matchup but I do know that as usual Rob will be trying to play his game you know zone you out punish you when you get too close with the jab maybe get a grab reset situation over and over Ike's trying to get his way in he's gonna be trying to hit some up smashes get some reads get some jab combos going a little zoning with forward air maybe get some ledge traps but he's not he's not trying to be on the defense the whole time he's getting the up smash at roughly 90 percent and takes the stock kind of early but there it is first stock going to Kaios with a nice little lead we'll see what he can do if he can maintain this that's the name of the game at the end of the day. You get the stock lead, but if you can't maintain it, it's not going to mean much. The stock can be taken right back. This game may be not heavy on the combos, but it is heavy on positioning. You lose your position, you lose your flow, you can lose all your momentum and lose your stock with it. So far, though, he's got 54 on Rob. Hits the forward air. Xenon tried to make a hard read with that F smash. Oh, and Kaio's going for one of his own with an F smash, but it gets shielded, and now he's off stage. Got to make a recovery for himself. Ooh, an excellent power shield. Very close to getting eating that backer to the face. One backer at this percent. That could be the stock, and a neutral layer takes it. That's that's down to stock two two. Seventy percent lead for Kaio's. Not too much of one though. Ooh, and a nice back air cross up, punishing the spot dodge. That was very clean. Very confident in his movement. Looked like Kaios was in that moment. Get a nice little read. Catches the gyro with a back air. Something that's very like crucial in this matchup is, is uh, Rob's gyro. A lot of the plays he's going to make with zoning and even combos are going to come out of that gyro. So a lot of time, if you see someone else has control of those gyros, you can see a lot of plays happening. Ooh, doesn't quite have the spacing right on that F smash. And Kaio's not looking to just run in and get hit by it. Stock lead held by Kaio's once again, though. He's got 38% on him. We'll see how much he can rack up. Once again, it's not all about just comboing him to death. It's about how much you can make your lead stretch and how long you can hold that. If you play against really strong, heavy combo characters, it can be very hard to hold it. Against someone like Rob, Rob's a little bit weaker on the defense. When he, when he, not on the defense, in disadvantage, yes, he's weaker. Um, but when he's trying to get a lead back, he's not the best at opening people up. But he does try to bait people. That, that's where Rob excels. I think that's where we're going to see Zenon do it now, now that the stocks are even. He's going to be looking to use them gyros, use those lasers, you know, condition some responses, maybe get some grabs out of it. Ooh, and an F smash on that gyro. Tell him, get out of my face, man. I don't want to mess with this nonsense. I was just holding his lead. But little by little, it's getting chipped away by Xenon. Just piece by piece. Like, it's not, you know, he's not taking it down all at one. 90% to 90. And now for the first time this game, Xenon holds a slight lead over Kaios. If he can maintain it. What he's gonna do. Right, right now they're getting both to higher percentage. I was having a little trouble getting off that ledge. He's gyro in the real awkward spot for him. He tries to climb up above the ledge. Gyro ticks him just a little bit, push him back in the bad position. Now he's in this very awkward spot. He's at 138. Any move can KO at this point. Just about. Ike is heavy, but Rob does have some KO power. And just one wrong, wrong, one wrong move, one good read. F smash hits him. Doesn't quite take it, good DI, but eats the neutral air after getting red out of his air dodge. And that's going to be game two going over to Xenon. That's a 2-0 and a good game, good set played by the two of them.